Hi guys, it's me Radia, I'm back. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. I'm going to jump into the video as always. So today is March 19th, it's Mother's Day. So I'm about to pop out, I need to go to Costco and get some water and then I need to go and see the mother. So I wanted to come on and start this new vlog with you guys first. So in my last video, I spoke about how the next video, this video was going to be vlog style, um, just basically following my fasting journey which it is, it will be, it is still going to be. However, last week I came across a lot of problems. Now I know I've come on to the camera several times and said the same thing, but this isn't just like, oh, I'm struggling to fast, I keep breaking my fast, I'm hungry, no. I've come across another issue, which I believe I have now solved, but I just wanted to discuss this with you before we got into all the fasting stuff. I'm going to catch you in a minute. Right guys, so I'm in the car we can talk now so what i was saying is um before we get into the problems i was having i just want to say i've worked from home for the last five years um, as a nurse doing different roles but i've haven't ha i haven't had to like really interact with people the only time i see people is if i go shopping or on the television so i was talking some of the problem that i was having these this last week was that i kept getting really bad migraines I thought, first of all, it's, it's because I'm fasting and I'm out working and I'm focusing and, and I'm stressing out. So I said, okay, let me just do one meal a day. One meal a day, so at least I'm not completely empty every day and see how that helps. That didn't help. So I said, okay, one meal a day when I get home, but also I'll carry a little snack with me to work and have hot drinks. That didn't help. So at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I started to feel really like low in mood. Like, I just want to work, I just want to live my life and not be debilitated. The type of migraines, I've had them for many, many years. I've had scans and all, the, all that jazz, but I've had them since I was about eight years old. But the problem is it starts as a headache, it gradually gets worse. I can tell the type of headache that I'm gonna be able to stop from the one that I just know is gonna turn into a migraine. My speech becomes slightly slurred, um, blurred vision I'm like literally in bed like I couldn't do anything I couldn't watch television I couldn't scroll on my phone like I'm in bed and I know I'm in bed until the next day so it's not just like a little headache it's a, a full-blown migraine attack so it was really just starting to get me down I was like I would rather just suffer the fact that I can't fast for a while and just eat whatever I need to eat so that I can feel good and and get through this training because it's like a I think eight week training I'm still on the training now but yeah like I said the eating wasn't helping either so I was like I don't know what this is I'm wearing my glasses it's a fairly new prescription so it's not my vision I don't believe it's not the fact that I haven't eaten because I'm eating I'm drinking warm drinks so I was just like really confused um so I said okay the only thing that I've changed in my life recently is the fact that I'm going out to work so my sister suggested to me that maybe it's because you're literally interacting with people. So you're smiling, you're focusing. So I'm just, it's, the, the difference is that I'm out and about and I'm interacting with other people and I'm focusing more because I'm training. So I said, okay, I had a day off Friday gone. I was like all week, every single day last week, I had a migraine. So I said, okay, well, the only difference this on the Friday is that I'm not working. So I want to see is if, if I'm not working, if I still get a migraine and I did not have a migraine and today is Sunday, no migraine, migraine, yeah, migraine, no, mig no migraine Friday, Saturday or Sunday, which is the days that I'm not at work. So for me, I figured out that the different, I'm, I'm interacting, I'm focusing, I'm talking, my body, my, probably, my body doesn't want to socialize, I don't know. So, what she suggested, but I've also noticed, is that, and a therapist once told me, I hold my breath a lot. I didn't realize I was doing it. Maybe when I'm, probably I'm like slightly nervous. I don't see myself as a shy person, but maybe I'm slightly nervous because I'm out there again in the world. I don't know, but I hold my breath a lot. So what I've decided to do is, do deep breathing, consciously deep breathe, Make sure I keep my fluids up because again, something I don't do is drink a lot of water when I'm out because I don't like to have a wee when I'm out, but I just have to get over that. I have to get over it because I need to drink more. I need to stay hydrate, hydrated. I need to relax more, just like breathe and just not care so much about what maybe what other people might think. And so my task for next week now is to put all those things in place. 
So today, like I said, is Mother's Day. Um, I'm having a nice meal made for me. But Monday, which is tomorrow, I'm not working, but I'm still going to fast. So tomorrow is the start of rolling 72s for me. So yeah, I just wanted to come on, start the vlog, let you know what issues I had last week and let you know that going forward, I just need to breathe more, drink more water and relax. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next clip. Guys, I've just come home. It is March 20th. It's around lunchtime. I popped out to get my nails sorted because they were all like, they were a state basically. But I'm hungry. I don't see the point in complaining about being hungry when you know you're fasting. So I'm not complaining. But usually at this stage of the fasting day, when I'm like the hunger is kicking in, I wouldn't usually come on the camera. I'd probably eat, say start again tomorrow, and then tomorrow it would be the same thing, and then we're 10 pounds heavier. So I thought let's do something different. I want to come on and um it's all about accountability. I'm not gonna eat, guys. I know I'm not going to eat. I feel a lot stronger than previous weeks. But I just wanted to come and show you the realness, the rawness of it. I've come in, I'm really hungry. I had a really nice Mother's Day meal cooked for me yesterday. There's food left over and I am tempted, but I'm not going to eat. Got on the scale this morning, you ready for it? I am, as I always say, but it's always true, the largest I have been in my entire life. I am 225 pounds and a half. I think that's the largest I've ever been. The reason why I'm always saying it's the largest I've ever been is because I'm clearly just constantly putting on weight. Anyway, um, I'm not stressed about it. I know what I need to do. I need to stick to the plan. I made a plan yesterday, actually. Let me find it. Let me turn the camera around so I can show you guys my plan. Here it is. So it's like a weekly planner. I designed this myself. So it says like week of March 20th. And then it says like Monday all the way down to Sunday. And is this a fasting or refeed day? Check the relevant box. So today is Monday, as you can see, so it's a fasting day. Tuesday will be a fasting day, and then I'll be refeeding on um, Wednesday. And then here is just um, refill meals for this week. So I've decided I'm gonna have a salad and a patty on Wednesday with a fruit bowl. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna have, which is my next refeed day, I'm gonna have brown stew chicken and mash with a fruit bowl, because I love fruit. The thing is, what I really want is like a big fat donut. But just to kind of, you know, sort out those like fruit, cra the sweet cravings, I've opted for fruit. Um, and then I've done a shopping list, salad, avocado, salmon, sweet corn, chicken, potatoes, raspberries, grapes, and Greek yogurt. Um, I do need to put my weight in there now. And then goals for this week. So back to the gym from Thursday. Thursday only because it's that time of the month and I'm not going in until Thursday. Um, and then fast when supposed to is another goal. And then drink two litres of water a day. What I, What's important to note about that little schedule, weekly planner thing that I've designed is that try not to put too much stuff on your plate because what I've seen before is like when the list is too long, I feel overwhelmed and then I don't get anything done. Where those goals, if you're going to be realistic, they're quite good for this week. Make sure I drink two litres of water a day. I've noticed that my skin has been, I'm wearing makeup at the moment. Under the makeup is a different story. In the jawline, like, um, dark marks. So, like, I'm going to have to confess something to you guys now. So I get a little bit of a beard. Like, I get hairs here and there. And when I pluck them out, then I get a dark mark. Like, my skin is so sensitive. But I don't feel like it used to happen before. So I just think I need to drink more water and to, like, in the past, when I've drank water consistently, my skin has been lovely. Um, and so you might think that's a very small goal, but for somebody who doesn't really drink water often, that's a huge goal for me to attempt two litres of water a day. So what I've done is, hold on a second, let me get you my water bottle. So my water bottle, I had it in the freezer because I didn't have any ice to put in the bottle. So anyway, this is um, two small bottles, two 500 ml bottles. So this is um, one litre. So I've got to drink this twice for the day so once this is finished put two more small bottles in here and that was my two liters for the day now that's a challenge for me because i really <sighs> why is it a challenge i just forget to drink it's not that i don't like water i put little two pieces of lemon in there it's not that i hate water guys it's just that i just forget i just get busy during the day if i want a cup of tea i usually i've got mint tea in here and that's it like i just drink that and i just sip on that so 
remembering to drink water is a big thing for me so that is on my list um and then fast when supposed to another big thing for me i've been breaking fast left right and center i've been putting on weight guys so for me to fast when i'm supposed to those two alone are huge goals for me um and then what back in the gym from thursday yeah that one is not too difficult for me um but yeah so i just wanted to show you my planner and see just that little bit of talking to you guys about how i'm feeling and what's going on i i'm still feel hungry i still feel hungry but i don't feel like um as weak as I did when I picked up the camera. Right guys, so I'm gonna go and find some stuff to do to keep busy um, and I will check in with you later. Morning YouTube, it is 7.22 a.m. on March 21st. I'm about to go to work, just trying to finish a bottle um, of water. Last night I managed probably by about half seven, about 7, 7.30 p.m. I managed to finish the two litres. I didn't want it to take so long because then obviously you're going to be getting up during the night to have a wee, which is what happened. So today's aim is to drink my water before 5pm. 5, 5 Reason being, I'm, I'm going out to work like I just said and this is going to be, I need to have four of these today and this is the first one. At work, I'm going to carry one more just because i'm in training and i don't want to keep getting up to go for a wee and you know i don't like public toilets so i carry one to work i'm carrying a flask of mint tea to work that's like a bonus i'm not going to add that into my water and then when i get home which should be about half four i've got half an hour to drink two of these so i'm trying to get the water down yesterday i successfully completed a proper well, I'm going to say clean fast, but it depends on what. It depends on what you class as a clean fast. For me, I had herbal tea, so I had mint tea during the day, and I drank my water, and that's all I had. Um, I didn't have any sugar, but I did have a sugar substitute. Um, let me, I'm going to insert a clip here to, to tell you what it's all about. So this is erythritol. It says, our erythritol is a zero-calorie plant-based sugar alternative sourced from a fermentation beginning with various plants such as a non-gmo corn sugar beets and potatoes erythritol is also found naturally in fruits like pears and grapes so it says that it is sugar-free keto friendly teeth friendly and zero calories so i don't have it all the time but if i just feel like i've got a bit of a sweet craving i'll put some in my tea so I don't know if that's classed as a clean fast or not, but it's what I'm doing to get me through this sanely. Um, so you know how it's supposed to be rolling 72s? I realised um, when I was going through my planner yesterday that it's not technically 72. So this first fast that I'm doing is a 72 because it's a three day fast. I last ate Sunday, I'm next eating Wednesday. But after that, it's a bit longer than a 72 hour fast because I'm not eating again till Sunday. Reason being, I do want to eat Sunday dinner every week. And so that's always a refeed day for me. So if Sunday is always a refeed day and then Monday and Tuesday is fasting days because it's 72, eat on a Wednesday. If I did another 72, that would mean eating on Saturday and I didn't want to eat Saturday and Sunday back to back. So I thought, okay, let me just extend my second 72, which means I'm, I'm technically only eating twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. If I find that I'm really struggling, um, then on the Saturday I'll probably have something like a salad and then just continue. But yes, I'm off to work and I will talk to you when I get home. Hi guys, it's March 25th. It's after one in the afternoon. I've just come back from the shops, sat in the car. I was like, do you know what? I need to update my people. Um, so where are we? Beginning of the week, I, show you, I showed you guys the schedule what I was going to be doing for the week, shopping list, what I was going to be eating. I spoke to you guys, I don't know if it was in this video or the last video about my migraines and how I felt like it was because I was back at work, but they were debilitating, they were stressful, didn't know what to do. Um, and then since then, I've kind of realised, since then I've kind of realised that the reason for the migraines wasn't what I thought it was. Um, and I just want to let you know, guys know like what's been going on and what's the plan for moving forwards. So the week hasn't gone to plan. Migraines just literally taking over my life. It's like, guys, I was literally in, in a place where I'm just, 
in the bed crying. I want to get up and go to the gym. I want to get up and do a YouTube video. I want to fast. And just the fact that like the, he the, the I'm not going to call it a headache because that's not what it was. <laughs> the migraine so bad. Like I go to talk and it's like coming out like that, like really bad. So I've always had migraines, but the daily occurrence of these migraines was what I was confused about. And I believe I found the answer. Don't laugh at my pronunciation. Temporum, temporomandibular joint dysfunctions. That's pain, stiffness, sniffness, <laughs> pain and stiffness in the jaw, ear and temple. Now, it's not the first time I've heard of this condition. However, I'm, it's the first time I'm really putting two and two together and coming up with four. So for the past few, I'm going to say past, past few, about a month to six weeks, I've been having really bad right-sided jaw pain, ear pain, and my temples were swollen. I don't know if I told you about a time recently where I had to go and see an emergency out of hours doctor because I had a really bad migraine and my temple was up. I thought it was a condition called temporal arteritis. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is serious. I need to see, I need to be in hospital type of thing. Went to the out of hours doctor who basically laughed at me. She didn't literally laugh at me, but she made me feel stupid, said that I was too young for that condition and that I just needed to take some medication. Now, I've been taking ibuprofen for several years from migraines. It hasn't helped or it doesn't always help. So her writing me a prescription was just, to me, it was, it wasn't, it was nothing to me. So I just said, no, keep your prescription. Keep your prescription. Came home, went to bed, cried. Um... Because the way I'm looking at it is you can't say that somebody's too young for a condition. It might be rare for somebody younger to get the condition, but to just completely rule it out without any tests. And then she's going to tell me that it wasn't swollen. I was like, okay, I know my face and it's swollen. Anyway, she said it wasn't swollen. So we move on a few weeks, a few weeks later now, and the migraines are coming on more and more and more. So that's when I looked into it and I thought that I had this condition, TMJ. Um, well, I felt like, yeah, I had the condition because I've got all the symptoms. Um, and then my boyfriend did say that I am grinding and like doing stuff like in my teeth, like clenching and grinding it in my sleep. I'm waking up with this really bad jaw pain. And then like if I'm talking sometimes or if I'm eating, you can hear my jaw actually click. It's awful. It's awful. Like you can actually hear it click. <sighs> so I was doing some more research and I realized that this TMJ can cause daily headaches, daily migraines. And I was like, okay, this is the reason for my migraines. So then I went onto YouTube to do some research on how I can better manage it because they say it comes and it goes. There's no like cure. Um, so as you know, I was taking the ibuprofen that wasn't helping. Painkillers weren't helping. This lady, this doctor on YouTube said that you need to like basically pay attention to your jaw because I'll be sitting down, for example, working or watching television and not realizing that my jaw is tense. I'm kind of like holding it in a certain position because I don't want to feel the pain that I'm getting with it. But then that's making it worse. She just said, put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and slightly open your mouth so that it's relaxed. So I've been doing that. She's also said, try and lie on your back when you're sleeping, which I've been doing. And then she said, if you do lie on your, on your side, don't put your hand under your jaw, which I always do. So I've, I've tried to like go to sleep with, like on my back. And if I want to sleep on my side, I try to remember not to do this. Since putting these things in place, guys, I've been without a migraine for the first time in a while for two, or is it three days? I haven't had a migraine. And I'm smiling because it's just, it, guys, I'm, I'm literally, I've been crying in my room because I've just like been like, I want to come home from work and not have to go straight to bed. Uh, you know, I want to fast. I want to come and do my, my videos. I've not been able to do anything. I've not recorded properly in like since you see my last proper video. Sorry, the last proper clip. So I feel much better in myself that like I found the reason because now I can manage it better. I also bought a mouth guard because now I've got to sleep with a mouth guard. I don't know how that's going to go, but I need to put it in some boiling water and um, I, like mould it to my mouth and then I have to sleep with it. So that will be the challenge of today to do that. Um, and yeah, so I haven't been fasting properly because so say if I say I'm on a 72, 
I'll get to whatever time in the day, get a migraine, go to sleep, wake up. And then if this is another thing. I don't know. Put it in the comments if you know anything about this, because I don't. I've not heard of this before. So I might Google it, actually. After a severe migraine attack, um, I wake up. So let's say I wake up in the middle of the night and I am ravishingly hungry. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I, to try and fight that hunger is not even worth it in my head. So I've been breaking fast. So I've not been fasting. Um, so I'm not going to say I haven't been fasting because I've been doing practically all mad because I'll be go the whole day and then have this hunger and then I'll eat. Um, or I did do a 48 this week. I did manage to do a 48. Like I, I had one day where it was a headache and not a migraine and I was able to push through to the next day. So that was a 48. But yeah, the 72s haven't been done. But now I know what's going on. I'm able to say I'm going to go into next week and go strong. So I'm not going to put this video up this weekend as planned. I'm going to stretch it out so that I can show you guys a week of 72s and the benefits that I find in doing the 72s. But I did just want to come on and let you guys know what's been happening. I feel like I come on YouTube and I make excuses a lot of the time. Listen, I'm always going to keep it real. I'm going to be transparent. If this is life, I am human. I'm overweight and I'm struggling to lose this weight. But a lot of the time, my excuses are things like, um, I don't know, it was a bank holiday and somebody came around with donuts or I'm on holiday and I came back from holiday and wasn't able to get back on track. It's like real life excuses. Like it's not okay, but it's still my, my truth. But this one is the first time that it really wasn't an excuse. I didn't know what to do. When I had a migraine, I'd be like trying everything I could think of to try and get rid of the migraine, medication, drink more water, have something to eat, just go to sleep, be in a dark room, breathe deeply. Like I was trying everything and nothing was helping. So to now know what the issue is, even now I'm talking, I'm talking and my jaw's starting to hurt. So I need to shut up. But yeah, I just wanted to come on, let you guys know what I had found out and now we move forward. So I'll see you in the next clip and I hope you're having a brilliant day. Hi guys, it's March 29th and I'm off to the gym. It is lunchtime. I don't usually go to the gym at this time, I know, but I did not have the mental strength to get up early this morning. So I'm going now and I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, so it's after three now. I've had my shower and everything, been back from the gym for a while. Fasting, um, I, Malachi, I don't know how many hours fasted that I am. I am struggling a bit. I am right now. But I wanted to show you something. Do you know at the beginning of the video, I was showing you like... um how I've scheduled my week and I had it on a piece of paper. That was me testing something out. I wanted to create my own fasting planner slash journal. And so I did. So I have a look. So here it is. Ignore this, it just says not for resale. So it's Rolling 72's fasting planner and journal. And then it says can also be used for other fasting schedules. Just so you know that it's not strictly for Rolling 72's. Um, and then just a little bit about me and what the books have, why I've created the book. Then you've got your weekly planner. I showed you this earlier on in the video. Just the days of the week. Is it a fasting day or a refeed day? Refeed meals for the week. And then shopping list area. And then if you want to document your weight, you can. And then here you just write about how you feel. So it says here in this section, journal about how you have felt this week and any changes you want to make for next week this can include details about your mental and physical health exercise sleep and anything else you want to document about this past week and then on this page there's more space to continue and then goals for next week and then it just continues um i guess if he was doing um omad Every day would be like a fasting day, kind of. And then you just write down your meals for each day. Shopping list. If you're doing fo rolling 48, I guess one day would be an eating day. One day would be a refeed day and so on. And then same same thing there. You just simply write down what your refeed meals are for that week. And then a shopping list. It just helps to keep you organised. If you did this on a Sunday night for the week ahead, you can just, you know, you know what you're going shopping for and stuff. Um, or I guess on a Saturday maybe so that's just wanted to show you that really um, I'll link it in the description if you do decide you want to go and go and get it hi guys it is the 2nd of April I've got some notes here I just wanted to close off this video um, I've just finished completed a 72 hour fast I'm chuffed about it I feel a little bit lighter I've been in the gym I'm happy about 
I'm happy about the directions that things are going in. Things are not perfect, but I feel like I'm really getting back on track. So in relation to my adipose tissue, my fat. So I was surprised. I didn't tell you this earlier, but I measured my waist. The last time I measured my waist, I think it could have been about two years ago and it was 32. When I measured it, it was 38 and it's now 36. So I'm now 36, but that's still bigger than I was before. It's like, I'm 36 around here, like coming from 32. In, we're talking about inches. I'm glad that I have been measuring because now I can use that rather than the scale. I will get on the scale. I still will get on the scale. I'll get put that in my next video. But I just haven't been excited to get back on the scale because I'm lifting, like I always say this, and people have also commented in the past that when you're in the gym and you're lifting weight, it's just not accurate. And I just don't want the scale to kind of like demotivate me at all. I will get on it in the next video. But I just thought I'd show you that I have dropped two inches off the waist. Um, that's not just from that past 72. That would be too quick. It's from like the course of this video. And even though some of my fasts were failed, if you will, I still did like 48s and some old mad. Um, so I've, I've been eating less and moving more. And so, yeah, my waist has come in. Um, so lastly, I want to speak to you guys about the April challenge. I did do a post on um, here on YouTube, just speaking about like who's up for an April challenge. What that is for me is throughout April, just seeing how or deciding to be consistent. A lot of the problems I have, I always discuss this, a lot of the problems I have is about not being consistent. And if I was consistent, I would have been at my goal already. I fall off for various reasons, but a lot of them tend to be just excuses. Um, so. My my choice of fast is going to be rolling 72s throughout April. Now, there will be the odd occasion where I might fast a little bit longer just because I, I, I want to make it so that it falls that I'm eating on a Sunday. Um, so it's not strict 72s, but the goal for me is to just consistently fast, do consistent rolling fasts throughout April. And what I mean by rolling is doing a fast, refeeding, and then going straight back into another fast doing that throughout April. Um, and so if you want to hop on, you don't have to do rolling 72s like me. You could decide to do rolling 48 hour fasts. You could decide to do um, rolling old mad. So just deciding that throughout April, you're going to eat one meal a day, whatever it is, whatever fasting schedule you choose, that's fine. It's up to you. The goal is just to do it consistently. And then obviously it doesn't stop there. You might reach your goal weight and decide that you want to now work on consistency. You might say, okay, after April, I want to do another challenge for, for yourself. Um, so it's not the end, but it's just like a starting point. Hi guys, Editing Ready here. Quick insert, just in relation to the April challenge, um, I have put together a Instagram group chat. Um, somebody suggested it. Great suggestion. Thank you. Um, so if you, my Instagram name is radia.f.riley. If you just DM me and just say April challenge or add me into the group, please, or something like that, I'll find your name, add you into the group. And that's just where we can converse, chat and just support each other throughout April. Um, look forward to talking to you. So today is the I just said it's the 2nd of April. It's an eating day for me. Um, so my fa my next fasting day will be tomorrow, which is the 3rd of April. And I'll just be back into my rolling 72s. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, put down in the comments below if you, will, if you will be doing this consistency challenge. I'm interested to know what you'll be doing, what schedule, what your goals are. And I will continue to update you guys, record. Um, I'll get on the scale. I'll continue to do my measurements around my waist. I know people tend to do it around their arms and thighs and all that stuff. I really can't be bothered. That's just the truth of it. I, I'm not, I'm not that focused anymore on what the scale says or what like, the numbers on the measure, the tape measure says. I just want to feel good and look good. And it doesn't matter what the numbers say, but I do want to record them so I can like see what the progress is, if that makes sense. And so I can share it with you guys. So yeah, that's where we are. I continue to do my recording, my vlogging, my videos, letting you know, letting you guys know where we're at. Um, the goal for me is 150 pounds. I'm excited. Let's get it.